What's up everyone, Danny Lina back. So Waves just came out with a brand new plugin called Silk Vocals and this is really amazing. It finds the bad resonating frequencies in your audio and it EQs them out in real time. It's also got a noise gate, it's got a compressor built in, it DSs, this thing does it all. When you buy this, you get the regular version and the live version. The live version is for what I'm doing right now, talking into it and using it in real time. And then there's the regular version for your DAW. I assume this one's not going to give you any latency since it's for using live. This is what my voice sounds like without the plugin running. Now we have it turned back on. It should be getting rid of the bad frequencies and it should sound just much cleaner and clearer and make my voice more intelligible. But I think this is a really cool tool for somebody doing spoken word vocals or voiceovers. It really just cleans everything up, gets rid of those bad frequencies and makes everything sound good. So let's do a walkthrough on how to set this thing up. The first thing you're gonna notice is you can choose male or female. Of course, if you're doing a male voice, choose male. If you're doing a female's voice, well, you might want to choose female. Next, we have a low setting, so this will find the bad frequencies between 20 hertz and 300 hertz. And you can just move this little dial to adjust exactly how much of those frequencies you're trying to remove. Let's just say you don't want it to do any of the lows. You can just turn this off by clicking this little button here and turn it back on by this. So there's a low, mid, and a high setting, which is really cool. And you can watch this little graph here to see exactly, you know, how much it's doing. Now, this first line is about minus three decibels, so we're probably getting about two decibels of reduction on some of these bad frequencies. Next, we have the mid-range, which is highly adjustable. You can see there's, there's these little things here that you can slide, so whatever frequency you have in between these two is what's being adjusted. So you can go from 300 all the way up to 4,000 on the mids, or you can just dial in a specific frequency that you want to have adjusted as well. And of course, you know, you can turn that on and off by just clicking the little button and then you can just kind of move this to decide how much of the frequency you want to have removed. Now, when looking at the high frequencies, there's a DSing setting and there's a shelf setting. So I guess if you're more worried about DSing to get rid of the harsh S sounds, you would choose this one. Or if you wanted to just kind of find the bad frequencies in the whole setting here from 4,000 up to 20,000, I guess you would choose the shelf. Again, you can turn that on and off. You can adjust this band uh, wherever you think it works best. And that's pretty much it. High mids and lows, guys. It finds those bad frequencies and EQs them out. Now up here is a little button. So if I press this, you're going to be able to hear the frequencies that it's removing. So let's go ahead and do that. And right now you're hearing what the, what the, uh, plugin is taking out of my vocal so these are the bad frequencies that are being removed right now and that probably sound really muffled and really messed up but that allows you to hear which frequencies let's just say you only want to hear what the lows are doing you can turn these two off you can only have the lows on you can use this to adjust how much of the lows you want so bottom line is you don't want to do too much or you start losing all the bass I don't know if you were able to understand what I was saying there because I had it on, but anyways. So let's get to some of the other controls once you have it set up. I find I put the lows on about 10 or 15, I put the mids on around 30, and I put the highs on around 40 with the de-esser setting, and I think that gives me the best results. And I just leave these all the way over. But first off, there is a high pass filter. They say this is at 60 hertz, but I don't really like the high pass filter when I turn this on. As you can hear right now, it sounds like it's cutting out way too much of the bass. They say this is at 60 hertz, but it doesn't really seem like a 60 hertz. It seems more like a 200 or a 300 hertz filter because it's cutting off way too much at the low end. So personally, I'm not currently using the high pass filter. Maybe they will update that and change that eventually. This is still kind of like a pre-release version of this. But anyways, we have the speed here so you can adjust the uh, attack and release times. I find I just leave it around 20 is where it sets stock. We got precision. Now it says when you turn this up higher, it's going to be smoother. If you put it on sharp, it's going to be more precise. But the sharper you have it set, the more likely you are to have some artifacting and stuff. And then we have a makeup gain setting, which is really nice. The next thing we have is our noise gate. I just usually put that on about minus 40. That seems like a really good setting for me. If you don't know what a noise gate is, basically when you stop talking, it lowers the volume of all the other sounds to make it sound like, you know, your room is completely quiet, even if it's not. So that's basically just to get rid of some background noise. 
I just leave that on minus 40. Next, we have the compressor. You can turn the dynamics on and off. So if you press that little button, that's turning the compressor on and off along with the gate. So that turns both of those on and off. So let's go ahead and talk about the compressor. And there is something I really, really like about this. First off, you can pull this down here to adjust how much compression you get. And then you also have your output. So when the compression changes, that's normally going to make your volume quieter or louder. But what you can actually do is grab this little thing right here hold it down, click on it and hold it, and then pull this down and it's adjusting the compressor and the output at the same time. That way you stay at the same volume as you're adjusting your compression, which is really, really nice. Now I think the attack and release and everything is completely set, that is not adjustable. So a little teeny bit of compression seems to really work well, but I usually set it to around minus five. You can see I'm getting just a little teeny bit of compression as I'm speaking. That's probably like one or two decibels worth of compression which is about all you want for spoken words. So if I just compress lightly, I don't really hear much of a difference. When you're doing a voiceover, you don't really want that compressor to change the sound anyway. So if you put it on like minus four or minus five, you're gonna get a really nice amount of compression for your voiceover. If you really want it to be more of an aggressive compression, you can just grab that and really crank that and pull that down. And yeah, you're going to start hearing some changes. So there we have it. We removed some bad frequencies, which should make our recording sound just a little bit cleaner. The way I try to set it up, it should be subtle but noticeable. We got our compression. We got our noise gate. We got our de -esser. I mean, heck. This plugin has almost everything you need to process a voiceover or a vocal. I mean, just add some reverb, some delay, maybe an EQ on top, and bam, you are good to go. I mean, this thing did everything else for you, so it's a really, really cool plugin. So there we have it. It's a really nice plugin. I like this one a lot. Lately, Waves has been coming out with some really cool stuff. If you drop down the video's description or check the pinned comment, you will find a link to the Waves website where you can get this or some other plugins. And hey, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. You're all amazing. Lighting out. Have an awesome day. See ya.